Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this evening we'll have a look at the latest from the GFS, the GM, the ESMWF, we'll have a look at the GFS ensembles and the UK Met Office run as well. We've got a lot of high pressure around at the moment, however in about weeks or 10 days time towards the last 3rd of October it is looking like we're going to be seeing a lot of unsettled conditions and on some of the runs we're actually looking quite cold as well and we could start to see our first snowfall over the Scottish mountains and maybe even over some hills in northern England as well. So do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and do remember to follow on Twitter as well the links in the description. So we do run through the latest GFS you can see we've got big high pressure over the top of the UK at the moment. Towards Scotland though as we do have a bit of a westerly flow coming in there are a few lighter showers around however many areas it's quite dry and sunny. If we have a look at the upper air temperatures, you can see it is really mild further south and westwards. Have a chillier area starting to push in from the northeast, um, and that means some areas in Scotland, maybe northern England, might see some chillier conditions over the next few days. The high pressure slowly has toppled away, and we do see quite a, a vigorous cold front move through by Friday, especially through Scotland. Some very chilly air moves through could be uh, accompanied by some heavy rain as well at times as that weather front moves through, but very changeable. And high pressure does build back in very briefly before by early next week in about a week's time we just put up some really quite warm uh, mid-atlantic air however it's ahead of a big low pressure system so a lot of heavy rain around early next week and as that low sweeps through we see a lot of heavy rain and we see on the back edge the typical atlantic cold front where we do see some very chilly polar maritime air moving behind it now we are getting beyond day 10 so the details are a little bit um uh, not particularly resolved at this stage however the general pattern of a big amplified jet stream colder warmer sectors um, is what we're seeing on most of the models and you can see right towards the end of the run we actually go pretty chilly indeed with sort of a north easterly wind you can see the upper airs are not that cold because it is of course end of october but it's pretty chilly over the Scottish mountains, it could be even seeing some snow. Um, and it looks really quite unsettled as well with this amplified jet stream. We continue to see that right towards the end of the run. So we do have a look at this GFS run just on the precipitation, just to give us an idea of what we could be seeing um, sort of in the longer term. Uh, so if we go all the way down to day 10, um, just to see what, what we could be seeing with that amplified jet, you can see, um, as we head into later in the week, you can see that sort of northwesterly airflow move in um, with a lot of showers and heavy rain around, um, especially over Scotland. And then right towards the end of the run, you can start to see that wind veering easterly. And you can see there is a bit of snow over the Scottish mountains there in a few weeks' time. Um, and generally, a lot of heavy rain elsewhere, um, feeling pretty miserable under there and if we do have a look at the temperatures as well just to give an idea of what we could be seeing there you can see um pretty chilly uh daytime temperatures really only struggling into high single digits and if not low teens potentially over scotland colder than that you can see by sort of sunday 24th i know it's, an, uh, it's right at the end of the run only eight nine degrees for many areas um and beyond that sort of monday uh, 25th again quite chilly once again we've seen some proper sort of autumnal chilly conditions with that sort of north um, and at times potentially northeasterly sort of airflow with that colder polar maritime air moving in so you can see it's going to be quite unsettled and we could be seeing something chillier as well so we do have a look at what the gm uh, is showing comparing that to now it only goes out to day 10 so we can not really compare up to day 10 but you can see we've got that cooler air moving through by the end of this week with that cold front potentially some heavy rain over scotland or we'll the uk metal for run at the end of the video which will show that a little bit better high pressure does topple and then we see more atlantic systems move in bit more of a stronger high over Europe which is slowing these lows down not allowing them to clear out which would bring down that cold air from the north more quickly however we're still seeing this low move through and as it does move through we are likely to pull in that polar maritime air mass which is leaking um, out of Greenland by this point so a couple of days delayed than the GFS 
um, and we'll have to keep an eye really on what happens with this but you can see with both models it is very unsettled towards day 10 with that big low out towards Iceland still blocking around and that's why we're seeing the amplified jet stream um, and that's why on the GFS run we even saw some quite cold conditions beyond day 10 because we still do have that blocking around however by day 10 the low is just sitting out in the middle of the Atlantic with the high pressure out towards northeast Canada um, sort of Newfoundland area and then and then also uh, we have high pressure sort of bridging out towards Eastern Europe as well and we've got that dip in the jet around the UK if we have a look at the ECMGF, see how that does compare, you can see again, very similar over the next few days with the cold front moving through end of this week. And then again, out towards day 10, very, very unsettled. You can see once again, the dip in the jet is over the UK. High pressure out towards Scandinavia and sort of Western Russia. And then once again, high pressure out towards Newfoundland, um, sort of northeast Canada. And you can see very unsettled westerly winds. And once again, as these lows start to move through, we're likely to start to pull down that cooler air. Won't be anywhere near as cold as what the GFS was showing, um, but still chilly and unsettled. Not looking particularly decent. So we do have a look at the GFS ensembles for London for the next um, sort of 14, 15, 16 days. If we look at the AM50 HP temperature and precipitation, you can see quite up and down over the next week. Below average at the moment, then we see a bit of a tick up, and then below average once again towards the end of this week as we see that cold front move through. And then sort of picking up ahead of that big low that looks like it's going to be moving in around the 19th to 20th of October, bringing up some quite warm air from the mid-Atlantic as we saw by the models. Um... And then we see that big dip as that cough moves through. A lot of precipitation spikes around then. That's pretty typical of that big low pressure system with quite big um, weather fronts with quite stark contrasts. Um, is likely to produce a lot of rain, um, especially um, further northwards and westwards. Um, but beyond that, temperatures do slowly sort of fall down over the next few days to around or below average with a lot of precipitation around. You can see some quite cold runs coming out there. A good five, maybe six ensemble members are going down to minus five. And maybe around half are going to around freezing, if not lower than that, um, on the ensemble. So interesting to see that in the longer term. Now, it's not massively unusual to see quite chilly conditions towards the end of October in terms of upper air temperatures. Um, but we have had pretty decent conditions so far. We haven't seen anything very cold yet. Um, and as ever, we've had sort of six months plus now of relatively decent conditions. Um, April was a little bit cold, but generally still six months of relatively decent conditions. So even if the temperatures at the surface are only seven, eight, nine degrees, it's going to feel pretty cold. Um, even, even though, um, sort of on face value in the middle of winter, that wouldn't be particularly cold at all. But it's going to be the com combination of the rain as well, which is going to make it really chilly as well. If we have a look at the sea level pressure, you can see at the moment higher pressure around until around 17, 18 next week, uh, sort of the coming weekend, and then it drops down below um, 1,010 millibars into low pressure. And then we have a lot of scattering in the longer term. Some going high pressure once again, some staying lower pressure like the GFS operational run. And again, all depends on where the jet stream goes and what happens with that sort of pocket of blocking we do have and where that low pressure that is sitting over the UK around 18 to the 21st of October, what happens to that beyond um, sort of the next 10 days. If you have a look at Glasgow, from the northwards, you can see high pressure around at the moment. Again, very similar to London. Bit lower pressure, of course, being closer to the low, uh, sort of the mother low out over Iceland. Um, and yeah, again, generally lowering over the next week, but quite slowly and still generally high pressure for the next sort of five or six days. Low pressure comes in and then a lot of uncertainty in the longer term. Some, of course, going higher, some going lower. If we look at the temperature at 850 HPM precipitation, again, a very similar curve to London in terms of cold at the moment, warming up, then dropping quite colder, uh, quite quite a bit colder, actually, than what London was showing, getting below zero degrees at 850 HPA, then picking up once again um, to pretty decent conditions, maybe good for three, four, five degrees above average, and then a lot of precipitation comes in as that warm and subsequent cold front moves in with that big low pressure a lot of precipitation spikes now they will narrow down um, to when the weather fronts do arrive once we do get into the shorter time frame the ensembles will sort of um, come together uh, with their timings but at the moment the timings are all out um, there's probably like a 24 hour spread um, between the weather fronts at this stage within the ensembles once they do come together it won't be that much widespread rain but it will be quite heavy rain at times and then we see that drop off with the cold front moving through um 
And again, pretty chilly and very unsettled for the last third of October at this stage. Now, okay, it is subject to change. We can see change in the ensembles. But the signal at the moment, looking at the main models and these ensembles, is it's going to be chilly and unsettled for around 19th of October um, beyond. Um, still could change for the last few days of October, but at this stage it is looking quite a decent signal for some chilly and unsettled weather. And as I said, when we look at that GFS operational run, we can't rule out the potential of seeing some snow over the mountains of north uh, of Scotland and even maybe some hills in northern England at a time, maybe even overnight. And you can't rule out seeing a frost in many places as well um, and seeing a lot of cold sort of rain and miserable conditions. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. It won't be cold and miserable the whole time, um, but that, just keeping that in there um, as is likely. Uh, we're going to be seeing that sort of conditions at times um, over the next few weeks. And now, if we finally do have a look at the UK Met Office run to give us what we're going to be seeing over the next five days, pretty uneventful the next five days, really. You can see a bit of rain over northern Scotland, of course, because we have that westerly wind, a bit of a more moisture moving in, low cloud, drizzle. Some of that may travel down sort of northern England and down the east coast as well at times over the next few days, but generally, many places are dry. Through Wednesday, still got that sort of light, patchy, showery rain moving in through Scotland. And then we see that cold front move in through Thursday, sinking southwards, decaying as it does as it bumps into high pressure. But still has a little bit of rain along it and probably some cloud as well. And then generally beyond that, a few showers. If we look at the max temperatures, you can see today temperatures generally um, were pretty chilly around 14 15 degrees but where you do see sunshine of course it does make it feel a good few degrees above that but of course across scotland where we have the cloud and the rain probably pretty miserable beyond that as we head through to tuesday uh you can see um in the day temperatures once again 15 16 degrees maybe maybe a touch warmer than today um but that's probably because we've got more uh sunshine around a little bit of a warmer air mass but you, you won't notice the difference that much um i suspect and then through into Wednesday, you can see temperatures picking up maybe another degree or two, maybe 16, 17 degrees. You may notice that a little bit more um, uh, if we do see a lot of sunshine around. Because remember, 16, 17, 18 degrees is still pretty warm. Um, if we saw that in sort of January, February, we'd be seeing heat wave conditions. Um, so it is still decent. Um, so you can still go out and enjoy those sort of conditions. Um, if you do sort of see them later this week through Thursday, still relatively warm in the south. You can see the cold front in the north um, starting to move in. And as it does, you can see by early hours of Friday, very cold over northern Scotland, only a couple degrees, probably below freezing in many sort of frost hollow areas. But in towns and cities getting down to maybe three, four, five degrees, even in northern England and northern Ireland as well. And then sort of through Friday afternoon, you can see big differences, 16, 17 degrees across the south coast five or six degrees over scotland and then by saturday most areas are starting to get into that colder air and you can see across scotland most likely going to be quite a widespread frost potentially through saturday morning but elsewhere staying well above freezing especially in the south where we do um, sort of have that warmer air lingering so it is looking like we're going to be seeing some relatively dry um, especially for england wales um, uh, over the next sort of five days wetter over scotland but not an absolute deluge um temperatures are decent early this week but later this week it's going to be turning chilly especially in the north and beyond that into next week and sort of the next few weeks unsettled conditions are likely to come and there is the chance we do see some northern blasts some colder air coming in from the northwest and it's very likely we do see polar maritime air, um, air at times which is going to mean we're going to have a lot of cold rain around um, and potential for some snow um, over the mountains and maybe even some frost to lower levels as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.